Is it possible to take three shots, score five points, grab five rebounds with five assists, and dominate a game? It is if your name's Draymond Green with boundless energy, being an unbelievable teammate, and having one of the best basketball IQs of all time on both ends of the floor. Let's deep dive and have me show you exactly why Draymond Green is the best role player of all time and the absolute heart and soul of the Warriors. Make sure you subscribe, like, and follow Scout with Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, on Twitter. Let's dive right into all we need is even one game of film. Right after hitting that three, Draymond's not throwing up bows and arrows. He's making sure we're matched up correctly. Defensively, everybody's all set. Okay, I've got the ball coming down. Marvin Bagley's going to try to back him down in the post, and Draymond's just going to take it right on the chest. Took two in this game, two in the game before for a grand total, four charges in just the last couple of games. None of that shows up on the box score, but it is a big-time winning basketball play, and that is what defines Draymond Green. Plays even like this, just amazing recognition here as Rashawn Holmes is going to go short action underneath on the pick and roll. Usually the help on this pick and roll can only come from Steph Curry, but Draymond is so good at sniffing plays like this out that even though Rashawn's going underneath the basket. Draymond's going to stay right in the middle of the paint and go up and beat Marvin Bagley to the lob pass, knocking it away. His IQ off the charts. And then what he also brings is accountability through the roof here. As Andrew Wiggins is going to make this bucket after a couple bounces, Kelly Oubre, Wiseman, both of them got caught lagging around in the backcourt a little bit. So Draymond Green is going to have to pick up De'Aaron Fox in transition. Draymond tries to do his best, but obviously he's not quite quick enough to uh, stay in front of the super speedy Fox. So what he's going to do right away, he's going to scream, come on, that's not my man, come on. You could hear him loudly on the broadcast yelling that as Steve Kerr called a timeout. Holds his teammates accountable, not afraid to jump on guys, and he does that also because he holds himself accountable. You're going to see here as he is too late to help James Wiseman He's going to make sure right after the play that he's going to take accountability for it, hold his hand up, say, that's my bad, tap his chest. He knows that he is the hardest on himself, and that makes his teammates respect him. Look at this phenomenal help defense possession. Just one of the best help defenders of all time. In the gap, on the drive. Ball moves away from him, doesn't matter. Right on that help line, doesn't matter. You're guarding a great shooter. Help line defense, right in the middle of the paint. Perfect. 2 nining make sure he gets out of the paint to avoid a defensive three seconds. Seeing NBA shell defense principles, gets beat. Steph right here, telling Kelly Oubre, go, 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 you're the help. Pointing, talking, communicating. Oubre goes, Draymond covers down on his man, and then Oubre's in the paint, all because of Draymond ends up getting a block out of it. Again, doesn't show up at all in the stat sheet, but it is big-time recognition. Even on Nemanja here in transition, making sure, closing out quickly to the big-time shooter, making sure he has no airspace, no shot. And then, okay, Nemanja makes a nice move, gets him on a spin. How often do we see this even in today's NBA? Make him earn it at the free throw line. That's a good, hard, clean NBA foul. Make him earn it with free throws instead of getting layups out of it. Here, Draymond again, having no respect for Marvin Bagley's perimeter game. Doesn't matter that he's going to be out here spotting up. Draymond just working his way down to the paint, uh, protecting the rim, which he does such a great job of for them. Look at this possession here. This is a play that I've seen so many times. Teams screw this coverage up. Harrison Barnes is able to get behind the defense on the roll. Draymond, though, always sees man and ball. Has great vision of everything here as he's going to see the pocket pass made to Harrison Barnes. Rotate to him so quickly. I mean, look how fast that was. How quickly he gets there. And then that's going to allow time for James Wiseman. The big seven-footer to come over behind, block the shot. Draymond then is going to do his job running the wing. Wiseman's going to run right down the middle, and that's going to create a three for Andrew Wiggins in transition. He also obviously pretty much is the point guard, the point forward for this team, handles all the time in transition. Here he's going to throw it into the post early, go right into the split action for Steph Curry. Sets a great screen, creates so many shots for Steph out of simple actions like that. How about here? Look how quick that was to get Michael Mulder a corner three. And again, it's all just his brilliance, knowing the Warriors system inside and out. Anytime somebody gets caught in the paint, 
Little pinch screen for the corner. Draymond, quick little wave to Damian Lee. And then beautiful pass on time, on target, right in the corner pocket for Mulder to hit a three. Look at him here dictating Kent Bazemore. Not usually a big post player, but he's going to tell Kent Bazemore, go post up. You know why? Because they're overplaying Steph Curry. So when I go to set this little split game screen for him, Steph's going to back cut it and have a layup as Bazemore makes a nice pass to find him there. How about here? A little bit of Jokic before Jokic. People forget what a tremendous outlet passer this guy is. Even from the chest to throw that 94 feet just about. Phenomenal, phenomenal touch on the outlet pass. And then how about Draymond in the post? There's a little two-man game give and go with Steph hitting him back for a layup. Marvin Bagley trying to post him up. Yeah, I don't think so. Trade me maybe. Get that out of here. It's Draymond then is going to, again, push in transition. Look at him reading the floor, looking everything to his left, dribbling to his left, looking like everything's going this way. But he sees the whole time that Kelly Oubre is going to be the open guy. Look at that wrap around left hand bounce pass. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pass. And then, again, just the nonstop chatter. I'll let you be the lip reader here. But there is nobody that's a better teammate than him, nobody that's more into the game and loving when – Plays like this happen. Unselfish basketball from the bench unit. Great ball movement to get a three. Draymond loves it. Always encouraging his teammates. Tremendous love for the game. Heart and soul of the Warriors. Thanks for watching. Make sure you thumb up, subscribe. Patreon.com slash Brian if you want 50 bonus videos.